Welcome to my lecture online. In this example, it appears as if we're dealing with the difference of cubes. T cubed, of course, is, uh, well, that's cubed. How about the number 8? You have to realize that 2 cubed is indeed equal to number 8, so this can be written as t cubed minus 2 cubed. And then you have to remember the general formal, uh, formula or the general format of the difference of cubes. So when we have a cubed minus b cubed, this can be factored as a minus b. That's the only place you have a negative sign. And then we have a squared plus ab plus b squared. Remember, this is 1 times ab, not 2 times ab like we normally see when we factor things. All right, once we have that, then you can realize that in this case, a is equal to t and b is equal to the number 2. And then we plug that into this formula to factor this. So this can now be written as a minus b. Of course, that will be t minus 2 times a squared. So it will be t squared plus a times b. That would be 2 times t. And then plus b squared. In this case, it would be 2 squared or 4. And that's the factored form of that binomial the difference of cubes, and that is how it's done.